what's up guys i know it's been a while since i've made a video so um here it goes i this is december 30th i have taken the week off after christmas and the reason why is i've had to um i've had some things that i had to take care of um, last week, I did get a random um, inspection, and I got banged up on a couple of things. We've had 12 inspections, almost flawless. Our safety score is very, very low, which is good. That's what you want. And... Um, Anyways, the officer was super, super cool, uh, but let's get into it. My medical card was expired. I knew it was. It expired when I was on the road. My license was, was still valid. Um, Texas, you have a 30-day grace period. And um, so I, you know, my medical card was expired. I have to renew my trailer tags this month. I have a fire extinguisher mounted, but it's mounted on my trailer. I've been through 12 inspections. That is fine with every single person. And I have a fire extinguisher in my truck under my seat, but truth be told it's not mounted and um, that's my fault I'm not making excuses on that um, literally but anyways so the guy uh, wrote them all up he put medical card expired um, no previous offense and couple of things like that so you know he, he saw that he did say something to me about PCing um, and didn't give me a ticket for it or anything but um, it was one time where I finished the load and I was headed home and it was like 45 minutes I literally ran personal conveyance home I thought I was off duty it was Friday, I wasn't dispatched, I was not under a load. He didn't, he didn't uh, give me a violation or anything for it. I literally told him. Um, I told him like, you can see I have the time. Like literally, I wasn't out of time. I literally just said, hey, I'm off work, I'm headed home. My house is my registered business. So, I get it, you know. And he, he even told me, hey, look, man. Uh, a lot of people think they can run in personal conveyance. You know, he's like, but personal conveyance, you can only use like this. So, but anyways, uh, went to get my medical card, got it. And, you know, hey. The thing is, is I told him, I said, hey, look, check this out. Like, I pulled up my phone and j the recent call list, I showed him right there. I said, hey, look, DOT medical certificate. I was like, you can see right there that I literally had an appointment, which was for this week. And um, anyway, it's kind of pissed me off. Like I get it. I wasn't. I wasn't illegal. My license were still valid. I have a 30-day grace period. I've already got my medical certificate and updated it with um, D the DMV. But you know, it's just one of those things. But um, so I did that this week. Getting my medical card. I went in there. And um, 
I filled out the questionnaire. Uh, for anybody that does not know about a medical card, if you're a commercial driver, CDL or non-CDL, you have to have a medical card on file. Basically, it's a physical that just says you can see, you can hear. Um, they check your blood pressure to make sure you don't stroke out. They check your, you pee in a cup. Uh, and they check your cholesterol with that. And um, they just want to make sure that you are safe enough to drive so you don't stroke out or have a heart attack and kill someone. So while I was getting that, that questionnaire, I was going through it. I was going through it and I was moving fast and I turned it into the lady and she was reading it and she said, so you've done hard drugs in the last two years? I said, what are you talking about? She was like, well, you checked it right here. I said, I've checked, I've done hard drugs? She was like, yeah. I was like, no, I've not done any hard drugs. Like, she was like, okay, so she fixed it. And she said, so you failed drug tests in the last two years? I was like, no, what, did I check that? She was like, yes, I said, can I have that paper back so I can redo it? And what it was was the questions were a little longer on some and you just check a box so some of them were staggered so like this question the the answer for it was like right here wherever you check so anyway so i got through that she checked my blood pressure my blood pressure was high i don't know she said you know i had some coffee that morning whatever but my blood pressure was high and Literally, she wouldn't let me do it. So she said, hey, look, you've had some coffee from now on. Like, anytime you go to a physical or anything, do not drink coffee before you go. Um, she was like, okay, of course, it's going to, your blood pressure is going to be through the roof. So I was like, I did not know that. And uh, So, got that. And in my vision, I, I had my hand over my eye. And when I took it off, like literally my hand was touching my eye. When I took it off, this eye was blurry. And like I missed two on that. But anyways, I ended up redoing that and passed it. But, you know, I went home and literally my wife was like, why are you moping around? And I said, hey, like, I don't think you get it. Like, I don't pass this, I don't drive. Like, granted, you know, there's ways to to pass, but like, if I don't pass this, I don't drive. And, uh, but anyways, I went back the next day, passed it, and, um, yeah. But anyways, that was uh, a real eye-opener. Uh, so yeah, it was crazy, but anyways, I passed it, you know, so I had some things I had to tidy up on, um, and I'm here about to get loaded again, but. It's crazy. It's crazy, like, how important it is to be in shape or, you know, to pass these tests. Because literally, you could get, um, not get a medical card on file. So, I saw Hotshot Mac kind of went through the same thing. And, um, you know, it's real alarming. So, we're wrapping up 2022. It has been a good year. It's been a crazy year, but this year has really been an important year. I'm here again, uh, picking up some work for uh, some direct uh, work that we have. 
And, uh, you know, that's one of the things we landed this year. So 2023, we're gonna focus on a couple other things. Uh, we wanna get maybe two or three more trucks on the road, nothing crazy. So that'll be five trucks and then um, kind of get that rolling and streamlined. And then um, I might do it this weekend, but I'm gonna um, file to get our broker license. So um, it's gonna be a good year. Uh, all you guys that's been following me, I appreciate it. This probably will be the last video of the year for us. Um, you know, 2022 has been a tough year. It hasn't been easy. A lot of people have went out of business this year. And, you know, a lot of that stuff was out of their hand. You know, fuel prices, cheap rates, and all that. But, you know, fuel's come back down a lot. You know, I've been getting my fuel bills right now. And, um, you know, I was paying 18, 1900 a week in fuel. So, you know, these last several weeks, I've been paying 11, 1200 a week. So, I mean, that's seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a week that's in my pocket now, just because um, diesel has came down two dollars a gallon. With you know, and that's huge. But you know, we're really fortunate. Uh, November, December have kind of been weird. You know, um, November really sucked. <clears throat> and it is what it is, you know, everybody that we, we've been dealing with, um, it was just one of those weird times where they didn't have a lot of freight going out. Um, December, pick back up, <clears throat> you know, I am here right now getting loaded again. Yesterday I did local runs all day, made, you know, um, a nice little chunk. But when we do hire out again, we're gonna hire drivers from DFW. We have a driver that's out of Houston and, you know, like this and our other customer, um, you know, they, they might call last minute, where are you guys at? You know, yesterday they called um, and I ended up running some stuff for them and, and you know, I was done by three o'clock and, you know, I think I did like 11 or 1200 bucks. So, but anyways, guys, you know, if you guys are out of DFW and you got a CDL hot shot, hit us up. Um, and it's Bradley, B R A D L E Y, at twinriverstransport.com. Um, we are going to fill a couple of spots, but we want to get somebody from around here because this is where our work is. And, you know, Hit, a, hit us up, we'll have a conversation. If it works out, it works out. If not, um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. But hey, you guys be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.